Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us this morning for DevOps with the Atlassian Suite. This is the final webinar installment in this series. Uh, we will be recording the webinar and we'll email you a link to that recording over the next few days. The email will also include a link to register for our next webinar. Speaking of that, our next webinar is scheduled for May 18th at 11 a.m. Central. It's going to kick off our next series on Atlassian add-ons with our first webinar covering add-ons for Jira specifically. So in this webinar, Brian Nye uh, is going to be showing off some of our favorite add-ons for Jira that we regularly recommend to clients to further custom tailor their Jira instance to their needs. As you have questions, be sure to type those in the questions box of the GoToWebinar control panel. We'll get those queued up and we will try our best to answer all of them towards the end of this session. On the webinar today from Precipio Consulting, we have Brian Robison. Brian, also known as B-Rob, is our principal of technical delivery. He has tons of experience implementing the Atlassian tools for dev teams, uh, training teams on the best use of these tools for uh, the SDLC. And every time, every time I travel with him, people can't stop commenting on how awesome his beard is. Uh, and then my name is Evan Perkins. I'm a sales consultant here at Precipio Consulting, and I'll be serving as your faithful moderator this morning. A little bit about Precipio Consulting. We've been Atlassian expert partners for over six years now and are one of five platinum enterprise experts in the country. Over 99% of our projects are Atlassian related and we've helped uh, hundreds of clients across the globe ranging in size from 20 person companies to Fortune 20 enterprises spanning many different industries. We help our clients with process-centric technology solutions that facilitate traditional business process management, IT service management based on idle, and software development life cycles. In the SDLC space, we're helping clients transition from traditional waterfall to the agile methodology. So whatever widgets you produce, we help improve the quality and throughput at the lowest cost. We support our clients in all facets of the Atlassian product suite and build methodologies and solutions across the entire product line. Solutions architecting and implementations, licensing, upgrades and maintenance, managed hosting, managed services, integrations, add-on development and training. And with that, I'll hand things over to Brian. Thanks for the introduction, Evan. I'm Brian Robison, Principal of Technical Delivery for Scipio Consulting. My team is responsible for ensuring that your Atlassian applications run faster with high performance and low downtime. We also perform complex upgrades, merges, and migrations. Today, we're going to start by answering the question, what is DevOps? And we're gonna review the history of the sometimes rocky relationship between development and IT operations. Next, we'll take a look at the current state of DevOps and some best practices that drive down costs while improving quality. Then we'll see how the Rambler team has made integration and automation between Atlassian applications the center of their DevOps strategy. In seeing it solved it, we'll take a look at an example of how Precipio Consulting has put these ideas into practice. Then when we finish, we'll spend some time answering any questions you have, so be sure to send a few along. I'm sure many of you have heard the term, but do you really know where DevOps comes from? Not that long ago, software development teams would spend months and months coding an app while trying to force as many features into the release as possible in order to satisfy their long list of requirements. Once finished, they would quickly rush it through testing, and if it passed, toss it over the wall to operations to be installed into production. Of course, the application crashed and the finger pointing ensues. Ops says the build is faulty, the devs say it worked in the test environment, so the ops team pulls an all-nighter to hotfix it in production. Does that sound familiar? DevOps aim is to change those behaviors and remove the finger pointing altogether. Instead, we want to foster the collaboration between development and operations throughout all of the stages of the software development lifecycle. As teams on both sides of the wall adopt agile methodologies, the barrier between them disappears. Project size becomes smaller, more manageable, and the teams build, test, and release higher quality code more quickly and with fewer bugs. Agile works to ensure that dev teams aren't overloaded and quality is baked in throughout the software development lifecycle. 
Smaller, more frequent builds are easier to test and lead to better testing outcomes. By building apps with testability and deployability in mind, we can create a culture of continuous improvement. We'll see some examples later of how Atlassian, Jira, and Bamboo do just that.